What's going on, Jerome's Minnesota Fighting Vikings kept Skull alive despite their best efforts in the second half. Almost blowing that 29-point lead, but a win is a win is a win. Vikings at 6-7, and seven, currently in the 8th seed, which expand the playoffs. Seven seeds make it, uh, of course, with expanded playoffs. But uh, Vikings are breathing down the necks of the Niners, uh, who unfortunately have the head-to-head. -head. They're breathing down the neck of Washington, who has a very tough schedule coming up. So there's a lot of things going on. And as the Vikings have a, a win and are in the clubhouse, here are the rooting interests for the rest of Week 14 for the Vikings. So now we have record and conference record listed because beyond head to head, the first wild card tiebreaker is in conference record. So the Vikings are four and four, wanting some more. Final four games, all in the NFC. Two games against the Bears, which, you know, uh, also you get the Rams, also you get the Packers too. So that's yeah, whatever there. So the Vikings, if they win out, they're in. Like do, they do control their own destiny. So if they get four games in a row at you know, post Steelers game, then they're in. But if they drop one, they're going to need some help, and that conference record uh, will come in handy, so uh, keep that in mind. But currently, Rams are the first wild card, the five seed at eight and four, but we'll get to their schedule in a second. Uh, hey, congratulations for beating the Jaguars. Great. You got the football team at six and six. They also have a tough stretch coming up. Niners at six and six as well. Uh, Philly is at six and seven. Vikings have them notched because it goes to like the third tiebreaker. So yeah, whatever. Uh, Panthers, Falcons, and Saints. So it's a log jam down there, the bottom of the NFC South. But the the nice thing is Washington, the Eagles, they play each other twice. Uh, the Panthers, Falcons, Saints, they play each other a bunch. So these teams are going to drop games. And the Vikings, uh, the Vikings aren't in, in or the only game the Vikings have remaining uh, of a wild card contender is the Rams. Well, you could say the Packers too. Yeah, but nah. So week 14. Rams are at Cardinals. Kyler is back. Nuke is back. That's uh, that's going to be an extremely tough game. And of course, the Cardinals, they want to seal up the division. And winning this game could go a long way to do that. So, yeah, the Rams might be in a little bit of trouble when they're actually playing a good team. Remember, this is a team that lost three straight before they beat the Jaguars at home. Cool. Washington uh, has Dallas at home. Now, in, in a scheduling quirk, which we'll expand this in a second, but they actually play uh Cowboys, Eagles, Cowboys, Eagles, <laughs> which is just hilarious to me. Niners at Cincinnati. The Bengals want to prove that last week was not an embarrassment against the Chargers. Hopefully Joe Burrow's pinky is fine. So the Niners, uh, they're going to have a tough day. So it, it, things you hate to see that Rams lose, Washington loses, Niners lose. I, I, th I think they're all dogs too, which is good to see. Uh, Vikings beat Pittsburgh. Naturally, Eagles can't lose to the bye, which is unfortunate because their fans deserve it. Uh, and then, li like we mentioned, a bunch of these teams play each other. So the Panthers uh, are hosting the Falcons. Uh, Falcons are at the Panthers. Uh, and then the Saints are and the home of the Jets. Where, hey, Jets, can we put the dumbest rivalry in sports history aside? Just beat the stupid Saints one time. Can you just expose Taysom Hill for the fraud fullback that he is? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Rob Sala. Rob Sala. Yeah. So we are big fans of the Cardinals, the Cowboys, the Bengals, the I don't care who wins. Can you tie uh, between the Falcons and the Panthers? Why not? Actually, I would want the Panthers to win because the Vikings have the head to head against the Panthers. Nailed it. Uh, and then, of course, the Jets. Rob Sala. And then zooming out and enhancing. Just take a look at the rest of the schedule because it, it gets really funny. Uh, can we get this all on screen without making it look weird? That's what she said. Ah, uh, yeah, close enough. That's yeah, close enough. This is the power of video right here. Ah, uh, whatever. That works. All right. So, like we mentioned, Washington has a weird ass schedule. So, they have all division games left. And they play the Cowboys twice in three weeks. They play the Eagles twice in three weeks. And then they're at the Giants. Cool, uh, and the Cardinal or the the Rams, they have a tough schedule ahead, man. 
Uh, so they only have two home games left, both division. They're at Arizona this week. Seattle hasn't given up. They're still going to give it to their division rivals. They're at the Vikings day after Christmas, Boxing Day, which is going to be a tough-ass game if the Vikings can stay healthy and focused. At Baltimore, and, and the Ravens may be scratching and clawing for playoff seating, so that's going to be a tough game. Matthew Stafford uh, and the L.A. team in cold weather. And then you got the Niners at home, and the Niners could be busting balls trying to get one of the final playoff spots. So there's no easy games left. For the Rams, uh, Washington football team, like we said, those two Cowboys games are going to be tough. Eagles are going to be rough and tumble as well. Plus, they're going to they're going to be coming off the bye. Plus, they're going to be home uh, against Washington, so that's going to be a tough game. Uh, Niners at Cincy hosting the Falcons at Tennessee. That's going to be a, a, an interesting game. Uh, then they're hosting Texans. Hey, congratulations, good job for that. And then they're going to be fighting for their lives at LA. Uh, Vikings <sighs> beat Pittsburgh. You got two games against the Bears, two games that you should win, including Week 15, Monday Night Football, and Justin Fields, even though uh, they never win at Soldier Field, they never win on Monday night, even though they did both last year. They got the Rams, and then you're at Green Bay, which, you know, throw the records out at Lambeau in the cold. Bring it. Bring it, baby. Bring it. Eagles by this week. They got Washington twice. They got Dallas to finish up the season at home. They got the Giants in there as well. And then, like we mentioned, the Panthers, Falcons, Saints, they play each other a bunch. Actually, yeah. All right, so yeah, Falcon Saints getting on. Da, 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 da. Uh, Panthers are at Buffalo. What, what a weird scheduling quirk. I love Dan Phil. Hosting Tampa Bay at New Orleans, and then they're at Tampa Bay again. So the Panthers, minus Joe Brady, they got a tough-ass schedule down the stretch. Falcons, uh, they're at Carolina, they're at San Francisco. Ugh. They're at Buffalo as well. Ugh. Falcons, they did you dirty down the stretch, man. Saints at Jets, at Tampa. Miami at home, we're go we're Miami's coming to us, and then Carolina and Atlanta. So, like we mentioned, a, a lot of this is sort of you know, whatever. Take care of your business, and everything else will sort itself out. So, uh, whatever games happens, uh, I mean, maybe Arizona wins, maybe the uh, Cowboys win, maybe the Bengals win. Oh, actually, that that'd be fun to see. Ah. Magic, ESPN NFL playoff machine. So let, let's say that the Vikings, and eh, they get a couple of good breaks go their way. So we'll say that Dallas beats the football team, the Bengals hold serve at home, beat the Niners, and then the Cardinals beat the Rams. Now, you, you see that nothing changes. Nothing changes because uh, the even at 6-7, and seven, the Niners have the head-to-head -head against the Vikings, and Washington, 6-7, and seven, they have a better conference record. So it, it'd be what it'd be at that point. So the Vikings... Can't actually sneak into the playoff places this week, but things can certainly help out. But uh, like we mentioned, win out. Take care of your business. Focus on the Bears. Don't focus about anyone else, and let's get this damn thing. But your thoughts on our thoughts, uh, the Vikings rooting interest for Week 14, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Venmo, it's Friday, Friday. Support the work, baby. Put something in there, but until next time, Skull, production value.